Everyone, I got a crucial test lined up for you guys today. Seriously, it is the Crucial X8 portable SSD drive, and I'll be comparing the two terabyte flavor of this against the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD, also a two terabyte. Both these drives are rated at about a thousand megabytes per second. All right, I'm gonna actually cut some of the beginning fluff out of this video and go straight to what you wanna see, which is maybe the right speed. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna design this test. I'm gonna do two different uh, read and write tests on these. I'm gonna do these when they're both plugged at the same time. So I've actually got some comments from other viewers saying that, hey, why don't you run these drives by themselves and hook up the Mac to power to see if maybe get faster uh, results and I am down with that. I'm curious to see what the results are, but you know, in an ideal situation, well, you might actually still have two things being used here. So, you know, sometimes you don't have the luxury of being able to be plugged into power, especially when you're on the go. So I wanna see what it's like not having power plugged in first. So here's my desktop. I'm gonna screen record for you guys. And I'm gonna simulate an average folder for myself, which could be maybe 50 gigs. Uh, this is a collection of different photos, uh, so still photos, as well as some video files that range from a few kilobytes in size up to several gigabytes in size. As we can see right now in real time, the Crucial Drive has one step ahead of the SanDisk. Uh, it is important to note uh, that I'm not being sponsored by either Micron nor SanDisk, so I definitely uh, paid for both these drives and I waited to have these drives shipped to me. So uh, completely unbiased, uh, so let's just see which one ends up uh, outperforming each other. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna accelerate this video just a little bit. The Crucial XA drive started off strong and we are gonna see it finish strong as well, completing its transfer at 79 seconds, whereas the SanDisk is still running. It finally finishes its transfer at 109 seconds. So the Crucial drive wins this round, saving us about 30 seconds, which is a pretty big deal. If you are finding this video helpful and you're curious about the Samsung T7 Shield drive, I did review and test that one about a month earlier, so I'll link the video in the description. And I also got some comments about running the drives by themselves, which I thought was a great idea. So what I'm gonna do is because this really is a crucial test, I'm going to eject the SanDisk, pop that out. So I'm gonna run the Crucial X8 by itself. I'm gonna plug the Mac into some power right now and we're gonna do the exact same test. I'm gonna move the exact same Yosemite file to the Crucial XA drive, and we're gonna see that the transfer is gonna begin. And you can also see on the top menu bar on the Mac where the battery icon is, there's that uh, lightning symbol, so we are plugged into power. I'm gonna time lapse this a little bit to speed things up. And I'm just gonna tell you that the result was interesting. So with both the X8 and the SanDisk, once again, it took 79 seconds for the X8 drive to move this file with the SanDisk at the same time. By itself, standalone, with power, it took 95 seconds to transfer that same folder. So for whatever reason, it's actually slower to transfer uh, files when you're using the drive by itself. Weird, I know, but maybe it's just like us as humans, you know, in that competitive nature. Maybe the drive knew that it was competing with the sand disk and it chose to write faster in that test. I don't know, but this is interesting and this is a test that you guys asked for. So again, I'm glad that we uh, tested it this way. What's interesting to note though is that after doing these rounds of um, read and write, the sand disk drive is actually quite warm and that's what I'm always used to. But surprisingly, the Crucial Drive is actually cool. It hasn't changed. And to give you an idea of the um, environment, right now the temperature out here is 71. And the surface that I'm using um, is just an Ikea desk. Right, so it's 71 degrees, regular flat top desk. You know, I sometimes, if I want to optimize, I'll grab a fan and actually blow air, you know, on the Mac while I'm doing video projects. But in this case, again, I just want to simulate a very typical setup. So when it comes to typical, you can't get more average than me. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Now that everything has been moved over to these drives, I'm going to chat a little bit about the file system that's used. Uh, so both these drives use um, the XFAT file system. However, though, they differ in 
their allocation unit size. And this is important to note, because the SanDisk uses an allocation unit size of at least one megabyte, meaning that some files, like the 74 kilobyte file, actually use still one megabyte. If we compare it to the Crucial XA drive, which again, it also uses the XFAT file format. Yeah, looking at the size in the info, it appears the Crucial drive only uses a few kilobytes more than the actual size of this file, indicating that the cluster and the allocation unit size is quite small. Sandus, on the other hand, its minimum cluster size is a megabyte, meaning that if your files are under a megabyte, they're still going to take a megabyte of space in this drive. And that's designed so that in theory, if you have mostly large files, like video files, like I do, uh, you're gonna get potentially faster uh, retrieval times. Whereas the Crucial, they have smaller clusters, so maybe you might have slightly slower uh, retrieval times, but you're gonna save a little bit more space by using this. So small files, the Crucial drive is the way to go. If you have small files on here, you're gonna be wasting uh, some space. And we can see the impact of that wasted space uh, right here on the SanDisk folder for Yosemite. So all the files themselves use about 52 gigs and 237 megabytes. However, the actual space used is 52 gigs and 560 megabytes, signifying that about 200 megabytes are being lost. And again, that's due to the one megabyte allocation unit size. For the next test, which is the Rita test, I took the same Yosemite folder, which is 52 gigs, and transferred them back over to the Mac hard drive. And the Crucial drive was a little bit faster at 64 seconds versus the SanDisk at 69, saving about five seconds. All right, so this is my favorite test, which is the video render speed test, because this is where the drives truly shine. And this is where I really expect the performance from each drive. Because I mean, there's not been that many times that I'm really transferring files back and forth. Instead, my main use of these drives is to render video projects. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on this 4K video project that's about five minutes long. It's a pretty uh, linear project, so there's not very much uh, files being placed on top of each other. So a very simple project. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this project from the SanDisk drive over to the Crucial drive and then I'm gonna render these individually, and I'm gonna leave about a 10 minute gap in between each project once they export to uh, allow the computer to cool down because this MacBook Air doesn't have an internal fan. For this test, I'm going to switch off the screen recording on the Mac so that I could use all the resources just for the video export. Instead, I'm just gonna record uh, this part with my phone. We're gonna export out as a 10-bit HDR file, and we're gonna just export this to the desktop. And the first drive that I'm gonna test for this speed test is going to be the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD. And this is the drive that's rated at the 1050 megabytes per second. For this particular project, the SanDisk finished its export in about, we'll say three minutes and 36 seconds. And now giving the computer a little bit of a 10 minute cool off, I'll run the Crucial drive. And when I export this project, the Crucial Drive takes about three minutes and we'll say 56 seconds to export. So here are the final results with the SanDisk being slightly faster than the Crucial in video rendering and exporting this 4K video. All right, so after doing all the tests, these are my key takeaways. So the Crucial Drive, uh, this drive you can't beat the value for about 130 bucks for two terabytes right now. That's uh, what, like 65 bucks for a terabyte. You can't beat that. And also the read and write speeds on this thing were really, really fast compared to the SanDisk actually. And then because the cluster sizes are basically the same size as the file, if you have primarily smaller files, you're not wasting a storage by going with the option like this. Now, what about the SanDisk? So the SanDisk still has portability going for it. It's just a much lighter weight uh, case and design, feels a little softer. Uh, plus, it has encryption. So if you are on the go and worried about someone swiping your drive and having access to your data, remember the Crucial does not have built-in encryption. You can't encrypt on here, at least uh, not with any easy uh, software. 
whereas the SanDisk has the built-in SanDisk uh, unlock uh, program installed. Another thing going for the SanDisk is that, well, you could get it within, what, overnight shipping, at least I did, whereas with the Crucial Drive, it's a little bit harder to find these things, and if you do uh, find them, you either have to pay for shipping or on Amazon wait one month for them to ship. So is the X8 really worth the wait? Well, that's up for you to decide, but at least you have the results from these uh, speed tests, and I hope that it helps you with deciding on maybe which drive to go for. But either way, I mean, for 150 bucks or less for two terabytes, you can't really go wrong. All right, folks, uh, happy um, editing saving files, whatever you're doing with these drives. And I hope to see you guys for another video. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and this channel. All right, see you guys.